How's it going guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and the BlackBerry Bow 9930 is out on Verizon, out on Sprint, but the 9900 is coming to GSM carriers. Here it is with T-Mobile, the BlackBerry Bold 9900. Now feature-wise, design-wise, not a huge difference between the 9930 on the CDMA carriers, but this thing supports 4G thanks to HSPA Plus capability. So it sports 4G, design-wise very, very similar, 1.2 gigahertz processor, five megapixel camera, as you can see on the back, they actually uh, incorrectly labeled it. It's not a dual core processor, it's a single core processor, but otherwise specs, let's see how many times I can flip the box in the video, specs are relatively unchanged. Will 4G make the difference? Should you spend $300 on this thing just to get that 4G HSPA Plus connectivity? We'll find out in the unboxing, but first, Special thanks to my boys at Best Buy. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working. They'll help you set up your email, your web, all that good stuff. And they hook us up with a bunch of phones that we give to you in the One Paul Bandit game. Let's go check this out and see if this thing is worth $300 in the unboxing of the BlackBerry Bold 9900. All right, here's the BlackBerry Bold 9900. It's really not that different from the BlackBerry Bold 9930. Unlike past versions of the BlackBerry, there's no change in the, uh, the design of the metal. There's no different battery cover or anything like that. It looks identical to the 9930 with the exception of a few differences. But let's take a look at the box that it comes in. That's a little bit different. What's inside? We'll see the, uh, the phone, battery and charger, USB cable, SIM card, start guide and terms and uh, conditions. The box is a little bit different. Instead of having that kind of box within the sleeve like the, uh, the 9930 did on Verizon, that's a change. And we like, uh, we like little changes like that. But you can see it's identical. And I'll pull over my Verizon one so you can see. Identical to the, uh, to the Verizon one, save for that carrier logo on the bottom, but here it is, the 9900. Now this thing's gonna be a whopping $299.99 after a $50 mail-in rebate at T-Mobile. It's gonna be available on August 31st through the retail channels and online at T-Mobile.com. It's available now through some select business channels, so if you have a business account with T-Mobile, talk to your account representative, see if they can get you uh, hooked up with it right now. Obviously, box design inside is a little bit different too. Start guide, terms and conditions, you get your uh, return label here, postage due, do, 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 do. oh, handset recycling program, okay, cool. You get that, you get safety and product information, connect me, inside your new smartphone beats the heart of a dragon, Snapdragon. And then you get the holster as well, same holster you get in the, in the Verizon one. Actually, I should let, be letting this power on while we go through the box. Put the battery in, same JM1 battery. You can see that the SIM card slot for the, uh, and the CDMA version, it's in the same spot, but obviously it's CDMA with, uh, with GSM capabilities overseas, whereas this one's just GSM. So. Some minor differences, obviously. The battery door is exactly the same. No design differences. That volume rocker is uh, still not on this side. I don't know why I pointed at that side. The volume rocker is here with the mute button, convenience key, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and the micro USB charging port. And then, of course, your lock button uh, up on the top, which you can see identical in terms of design. We'll let that boot up, and I'm going to do this this time. I'm going to put it up here so you can see it boot up so my hand doesn't get in the way. Now where it is different, you do get the USB cable, that's really not different. You get the uh, AC adapter module that's exactly the same. No differences there. Where it is different, you do get Blackberry Stereo headset. Now whether 4G connectivity and a, kind of a cheesy pair of headphones is worth the extra $50 for you? Eh, maybe, who knows? We'll see, these are pretty basic. You know, and if that's what you want, then those are in there. I think the price is a little bit high on this device, but I think it will uh, sell pretty well through the business channels. But again, a same AC adapter module there. And then of course, your pouch here, which you can see a little bit different. Actually kind of has more of a cheap feel to it than previous uh, holsters, uh, or pouches rather, which I said in the, uh, the 9930 video, I believe. But that's what you get in the box. So you can see some accessories. They are pretty good about giving you uh, accessories in today's world where you get a char char or an AC adapter and a charger and that's it get a few more things in this box. So you can see T-Mobile booting up right now, a little bit different in terms of the, uh, the boot up sequence. And obviously you see 4G up here. Now, like I said, this is an HSPA Plus device. T-Mobile categorizes HSPA Plus, and actually the ITU does as well as 4G. So whether you want to consider it 4G or not, it's being branded as 4G. So you can see over here, some obvious differences with, uh, with Web2Go pre-installed. We can maximize the panel so you can see what comes out of the box. You get T-Mobile Mall, T-Mobile's uh, My Account service, I'll pull this up so you can see it a little bit. But the rest is pretty similar. Let's see if we get any application differences. No, you get Blackberry Protect in here. Uh, instant messaging, same instant messaging stuff, same Brick Breaker and other games, and Facebook, Twitter pre-installed. So not a huge change there, where you will see changes, obviously, the network, mobile network, T-Mobile. And we go into networks and connections, you can see the network mode is 3G slash 4G and 2G. So quite a few Gs in there. Uh, you can do 2G edge only, or you can do 3G and 4G and then with 2G 
as a backup. Say that three times fast, that's pretty uh, challenging. Now the interesting thing with this one that I'm gonna be uh, finding out over the course of the next couple of days is uh, I can't make it through a day with the 9930 battery life. It'll be interesting to see on this one with it being a GSM device if I can make it through the day with the uh, 1,230 milliamp hour battery which comes uh, pre-installed or which comes in the back of this device. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, the GSM version, supposedly people are making it through the day with the 9900. We'll be, uh, I'll be curious to see whether that's true or not. But otherwise, functionally identical to the, uh, the 9930, but a new BlackBerry for T-Mobile, even if it is, $299.99. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with the BlackBerry Bold 9900, the 9930 as well. We'll have dog fights with all these devices and a lot more fun, so be sure to check it out on PhoneDog.com. Like us on Facebook as well, Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're giving away a bunch of tablets as part of our greatest tech giveaway ever. All you have to do is go over to Facebook.com slash PhoneDog, you can even do it if I can learn to spell phone dog. You can even do it on this fancy new browser that comes on the, uh, on, in BlackBerry 7, which is what comes pre-installed on this. So, I mean, you've got the same goodies here, 1.2 gigahertz processor, 2.8 inch LCD display. It's a touch screen, five megapixel camera, 1,230 milliamp hour battery, and you can access facebook.com slash phone dog with the revamped browser as well and an awesome keyboard to boot. So fantastic keyboard. Access it, like us on uh, Facebook, and be sure to follow me on Twitter as well at phone dog underscore Aaron. And on my personal Facebook page at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. And as always, we'll see you next time. And Quick Brown Fox. Quick Brown Fox says. Bye.